This is the American Forces Network on the road to Berlin. People are talking about AFN in Berlin nearly a decade after the station shut down. AFN World News in the Hour. It's going to be a long time before they forget what AFN meant. John Provon is AFN's historian. He spent the better part of two and a half years piecing together the network's history for this museum display. It features a little bit of everything. It's up, it's up to you. From music to everything that made that music possible. And the fact that it's here in Berlin is bringing a lot of old listeners back to their teenage years. Dr. Klaus Becker escaped from East Berlin and calls AFN an escape. This was freedom. That was a new world. And we loved it. You can still see a lot of reminders of a U.S. presence here in Berlin. Even though you can't hear AFN on the radio and you can't see it on TV, you can still see its impact on the people. We knew they uh, were there to keep us free. From the time the Berlin Wall went up to its fall, former AFNer Rick DeLisle says the network played a key role in shaping German culture. It's a culture he never left, even when AFN left in 1994. Now that I've been living here for some decades with the Germans, uh, how important this whole history of AFN is to them. It's that importance that brought AFN back to Berlin and the collection of memories that historian John Provon says will only keep collecting. I don't foresee really AFN totally dissolving or disappearing because uh, you, know, you still like to hear something from you know, your neighborhood. Reporting from AFN's former neighborhood of Berlin, Michelle Michael, AFN News.